Uh, welcome back. Uh, dito na naman si Bald Runner. Uh, at uh, ang kwento natin ngayon ay kung paano ako uh, create yung uh, Bataan Death March 102 at saka 160 kilometer ultramarathon races. Uh, noong 1999 kasi, um, when I was uh, ano, uh, in the military active service, I came across the sa mga research ko, I came across uh, with uh, an event na merong website and uh, the event is called Bataan Death March Memorial uh, Race. Ito ay uh, inakandak sa White Sands, uh, New Mexico in the United States. At ito ay uh, dinadaluhan ng mga active military uh, service uh, people in the United States to include uh, uniform services. Kasama yung Coast Guard, kasama yung firefighters, kasama din mga police. So, uh, these units, uh, nagpo-form sila ng team, isang team, apat ang kasama, at uh, meron silang heavy at saka light division. Yung heavy uh, division, uh, they have to carry a uh, rucksack or backpack na ang weight niya is 45 pounds and they should be uh, uh, in a military uniform without any firearms or uh, ammunition but if you are in a military uh, combat uh, uniform dapat nakakumbat mo ka so yung heavy division ganon so karamihan itong uh, teams na nagjo-join sa heavy uh, division ito yung mga military personnel, active personnel at saka yung mga uniform services kasama na rin yung police at saka firefighters So, yung light division, walang rucksack. Pwede kang tumakbo doon na uh, with uh, military uniform, with combat boots, and then, or running attire. So, ganun. So, nung nakita ko yung concept na yan, at uh, research ko yung mga rules and regulations, uh, paisip ako, bakit kinakandak ang Bataan Death March sa White Sands, New Mexico? Well, in fact, ang Bataan Death March ay nangyari dito sa Pilipinas. And yung ruta ay mula sa Maragueles, sa Bataan, hanggang sa San Fernando City, Pampanga. And then later on, umabot yung mga preso noon, mga, mga ano natin, forefathers natin noon, na involved sa World War II, na nag-surrender sa mga Japanese forces, sinakay sila sa ano, train mula San Fernando City, hanggang sa Kapas, and then another 8 kilometers, naglakad sila, and they ended up doon sa uh, Campo Donel sa Kapas, Tarlac. Kaya, yun ang kwento ng Bataan Death March. Pero, sa akin naman, uh, ang pinaka-importante is yung naglakad sila for almost 2 weeks. Ito mga nag-surrender to the Japanese forces from the time uh, The, the surrender uh, pact was signed between the US forces, US forces and the Japanese. So, nag-surrender yung mga US forces noong April 9, and then kinabukasan, they started the Bataan Death March. So, alam natin sa history kung ano nangyari during the two weeks na Bataan Death March. Maraming namatay. According to history, about 20,000 uh, soldiers Uh, supporters, volunteers ang namatay to include the American forces who surrendered together with the Filipino forces. So, all of them ended up sa Campo Donel. But along the way, marami pa rin ang namatay. So, uh, pagdating ng June, na-release sila lahat. No? So, but still, yung history are very memorable at uh, it has been told by historians, even the survivors, kung gaano kahirap yung dinanas yung mga survivors ng Bataan Death March. So, sabi ko, the, uh, the Bataan Death March should be uh, celebrated or commemorated here in the Philippines. So, naisip ko yan. So, from the time na kinandak ko itong uh, Bataan Death March, uh, actually, kinapi ko itong ginagawa sa New Mexico eh. So I did it in April 2000. It was a very successful event wherein I I encouraged or invited 
the different commands under the Philippine Army. Marami kasi yung commands mga yan eh. Mga divisions, mga combat uh, service support, combat uh, logistic support, yung mga special forces natin, scout rangers, and all these things. May kanya-kanyang teams yan, nag-compete sila. But, uh, uh, dahil malalakas yung mga scout rangers, scout rangers were the ones who won in that uh, event na pinagdak ko noong April 2000. So, after that, after that event, in a few weeks, nare-assign ako sa Mindanao. So, pero yung pumalit sa akin, hindi na kinagdak. Uh, succeeding years, so wala na yun. But, pag ko, na, na, ano eh, uh, it also, a, a seed had been planted to my mind na dapat, we have to com commemorate this Bataan Death March through something, through running. Dahil nag-start ako ng sumulat, nag-blog and everything, and then I had a, an experience in the United States finishing a 50K ultramarathon race, trail run pa yan, and sabi ko, kaya, sabi, sabi ko, kaya natin takbuhin itong 102K. So we just proper preparation, rules and regulation, the concept is there, ultramarathon, from kilometer 0 to kilometer 102, kaya yan. So, in 2008, pag-retire ko, yun talaga ang target ko. Come up with an ultramarathon race. Back up with my writings in blogging sa WordPress, baldrunner.com, and with the help of my friends, and uh, worthy to mention here is uh, Junel Mendoza. Uh, si Junel, uh, race director sa KOTM ngayon, uh, isa siya sa mga naging ganyo or naging fight sa mga civilians who are very good in running, uh, most especially in ultramarathon. Siya na naging fight sa civilian sector. Ako naman, uh, through my blogs, marami ko rin na-invite na gustong tumakbo ng ultramarathon. And then, uh, I got some soldiers to join me in this first edition. At syempre, ako rin, uh, I joined the first edition. And the first edition was uh, conducted April uh, 4 and 5. Ano? We started midnight, uh, midnight, and then uh, we ran through uh, the whole day of Sunday hanggang sa hapon. So, ang original talagang cut-off time dyan is 18 hours. Minsan lang ako nagbago yan, but uh, binalik ko rin ulit sa 18 hours. So, permanent na yan na uh, 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 cut-off time for the BDM, 102 is uh, 18 hours. After two years, nag-request yung mga runners who finished the, uh, the BDM 102. Sir, uh, pwede ba natin experience din ang 100 mile na road race? I-continue natin itong uh, BDM 102 Gawin natin 160. O oh, sige, sabi ko. So, they suggested me that uh, the finish line should be in uh, Camp O'Donnell. So, gumawa ako ng ruta and uh, fortunately, we came up with a nice route and it has 160.9 kilometer distance. Tamang-tama sa 100 miles. So, uh, uh, it was a part of the Grand Slam BDM. Dapat uh, taposin mo muna yung 102 bago ka tumakbo ng uh, 160. Pero yung uh, rules and regulations dyan. So, uh, talking of uh, BDM 102, for the past 12 edition, uh, for, so for the past 12 years, we've been conducting BDM 102. Never miss yan. Never miss. Okay, dumami ang runners natin sa BDM 102. There are years also na kukunti ang tumakbo. I really don't care. Kahit ilan ang tatakbo yan, kahit sampu lang, BDM is still there. And the mission of BDM is to be able to commemorate the Bataan Death March of 1942 through the years so that the next generation would be able to appreciate what our forefathers had done 
in the name of freedom, independence, and liberty. So, very bad experience in history, but we are here commemorating it uh, and uh, experiencing it. Um, wala ng mga Japanese na ano eh, nakabayoneta, but still, the heat of the sun, the challenge of the route, nung una nga eh, ano, ginagawa pa yung sinesemento pa yan, it was very dusty, uh, uh, parang ano eh, uh, earth yung ano, yung ground noon. So, mahirap yung first edition. And we did it on the first weekend of April. Summer na yung ginawa namin yan. But now, uh, I, I, I did it necessary to make it, do it in the colder months, na January and February. Dati-dati, uh, ano eh, February, last week of February. But nung ilito ko just yung BDM 160, ginawa ko January na yung ano, yung BDM 102. Tapos, if you have a chance to join the Grand Slam for BDM, uh, so ginawa ko yung BDM 160 sa February. It's good, this year, 2020, we were not affected with the uh, COVID-19 situation. So we were able to conduct yung BDM 102, 12th edition, and then the 10th edition of BDM 160. And it was very successful. So, ganun po ang kwento yung uh, BDM 102. And as you know, nung nakreate at kinandak ko yung BDM 102, that started the ultramarathon craze here in the Philippines. Nagkaroon ng mga race director ng ultramarathon races, uh, nagkaroon ng maraming uh, ultramarathon races in, in the Philippines, in Luzon, uh, in Visayas, and in Mindanao. But I'm glad na itong BDM is becoming the most prestigious ultramarathon race here in the Philippines due to the reason that we are commemorating a very significant part in the history of our country and of the world. So, pag sinabi mo, Bataan Death March yan, entire the world, alam lahat yan. And I'm glad runners coming from Mindanao, Visayas, and other countries are coming to the country, ano? coming here to experience what it's like to run in the real route of the Bataan Death March. So, we have uh, runners coming from the United States, runners coming from uh, Southeast Asia, marami na yan ang pupunta dito, just to experience the Bataan Death March. So, Bataan Death, Death March BDM is BDM, okay? The prestige is there, the challenge is there, and uh, you have to train for it, and I'm glad that through the years, we don't have nakanwood, no? We don't have any accidents or uh, fatality because I really, really appreciate the proper training that we, these runners or participants have done uh, as part of their training and preparation for this race. Talagang mahirap ito. And uh, mahirap na ultramarathon because of the weather that we have. And I'm glad that they were doing it in the colder months of January and February. So we have a uh, very supportive uh, ultramarathon community here in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia together with uh, our brothers in the, the United States. Dahil um, meron tayo mga ultra runners din you know, runners in other countries who are in one way or another connected with BDM. Yung mga tatay nila or lolo nila ay survivors ng BDM or they have experienced the Bataan Death March. So they come here just to pay tribute to their older, older, elder ones. So very memorable sa kanila. And uh, I'm glad that these people, even ex-military uh, servicemen coming from the United States and other parts of the world, are coming here in the Philippines to experience the Bataan Death March. So, ganun po ang kwento ng Bataan Death March. And as the race director and the race organizer, 
We promise that we're going to continue this race through the years. Kahit sa sampu lang itatakbo, we'll continue this race. Uh, and uh, hopefully by next next year, 2021, we'll be holding the thir 13th uh, edition of this race. So thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. Uh, please uh, subscribe. This is this uh, YouTube channel for more stories coming from the Bald Runner. And please make some comments, uh, whether they are positive or negative feedbacks. I need your suggestions for this uh, YouTube channel to improve. Salamat po and have a good day.